Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Your boy played way too much Fortnite yesterday, I can't lie, admittedly. And I played football, so much football, late last night. So I woke up today, I'm like, oh my god, my body's hurting. You guys have no idea what it is like to have to try to outplay the reactions of 14, 15 year olds on Fortnite. Then go play 60 minutes. Oh my god, I'm cooked. But anyways, guys, we uh, if you're watching this video... Um, this video is not going to be one of those videos that's just a couple hours. So we've been talking about a lot of things. Uh, it's a lot of relevancy here. We just got Road to the Naka upgrades. We're going to mainly talk about Salah Player of the Month. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to discuss some things. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Guys, thanks for all the love on the reaction video. Sorry, the rant video. Um, it just did very well, and I appreciate it. I was really just trying to, like, outline. I think a lot of frustrations a lot of people have currently with FIFA. So... I'm glad you guys really enjoyed that, and if you haven't watched it, it's on the channel. If you guys are new, drop a sub. We're almost at 750,000 subs, which is crazy, and if you're watching this, we will be live later. I need a little bit of time to go wake up. Um, your boy needs to go get some light outside. Oh, my God. Cooked, but guys, we're going to be talking a little about Salah's Player of the Month today. It's it's obviously like largely anticipated. I tweeted about it the other day. Um, we also got a Lautaro Martinez Player of the Month, so I did also see that. We'll talk about that too. We'll talk about Road to the Naka upgrades. We'll talk at the end about some pretty crazy pack codes that EA uh, EA just added in. So Salah has eight squads. Um, to be quite frank with you, the card is phenomenal. This is such a good card. Um, this is going to be one of the best cards in the game. His Trailblazer, before the hype and everything of like, oh, Salah's getting a player of the month. His Trailblazer was like 1.05, and he was that price even kind of in this market crash. So he was really stable. His Team of the Week 1 at a 90 rate has been like 650 to 800 for weeks. So a lot of people like to kind of like see when this SPC drops, they'll go ahead and they'll look at the, you know, the updated prices. But the market price has really dropped because of the anticipation and the actual SPC coming out. Obviously, if there's a better version of a card, right now we're seeing this with Gold Mbappe on the market. Gold Mbappe is starting to drop a lot. Because he's probably going to get a player of the month. So there's no weak foot upgrade here. The most important thing is that he has the finesse shot plus. That's what we're here for. Um, his trailblazer is down to 830. But as I always said, his trailblazer has technical plus and finesse shot plus. If you have that in this game, you are just him. Now, the, let's let's do the little comparison here between the, the, the trailblazer and this card. The player of the month actually. So I'm a little surprised because I didn't think EA was going to do this. The player of the month is actually better than the trailblazer. Usually what they do with the player of the month is they'll kind of make it worse uh, by like one or two than the market card. This card is actually better. He's got plus one passing. He's got plus one physical. So make of it what you want. But 95 finishing, 87 long shots, 95 attack positioning. Very fast. Reaction's very good. Stamina is really good. So this is a very good card. Eight squads for this solid player of the month. You're going to start with an 85. The packs are not good. Still, the packs are not good. You you got 385 squads. You got an 86. You got actually 386s. Then you got an 87, 88. So this is not going to be expensive. Flippin has this SBC at what price? They've got it at 1 million coins. Now, it is 56% upvoted, and I can understand the reasoning of that. I think that it is probably long-term worth it. He's available for 29 days. This should be one of the best attackers in the game till at least, like, I don't know. This is one of those cards that, you know, I think he could be good all year. The finesse shot is so good. The Inform Salah is down another 70k. He's gone down to like 590, which makes me think that people are actually doing this. So that, that would be my analysis of that. Trailblazer is a little bit lower too. I think that, uh, I think a lot of people are doing it and you do get some packs back. I think, you know, from scratch, it's probably 900k. This is one of those SBCs kind of like Sun Player of the Month that if you can do it uh, with some fodder and stuff, I do think I, I I would sit here and say I think it's worth it. I think this is one of the top, one of the premier attackers in this game. I don't think there's any argument around it. I think he's amazing on the right side. I think you if you put him probably right mid, that's a little bit wasted. Like you don't want Salah at right mid. You probably want him at right striker, um, right forward. You know, something you can do is run like a four three three or a four three two one, and then you can run him as like come back on defense because he's got really good stamp. And the reason I say run him on comeback on defense is because, you know, you want to get that space around the edge of the box to shoot that finesse shot. I mean, 95 finishing, crazy with that finesse shot plus. So, Silas Player of the Month is legit. I really may consider going and crafting the SPC. 
if he's only you know the the one the one really sick thing would have been if EA had made him a striker today because like for example I think a lot of people have some pretty crazy wingers in their club like I've got Hanson on the right side so it's gonna be a little bit more tough for me to slot Salah in my team but I think this SBC do I think it's too cheap no do I think it's too expensive I think it's really fairly priced this is one of the best attackers in the game um, one of the fastest one of the most clinical and Salah you know Salah a couple years ago. In FIFA, he didn't have the craziest left stick dribbling. He now has really good left stick dribbling. So that card should be um, phenomenal. Should be phenomenal. Now, we've also got a Lautaro uh, Martinez player of the month, I believe, right? Did he get a player of the month? Did I, already, I, might have, I might have literally already scrolled past it here. I really hope I didn't. That's going to make me look really dumb. So, yeah, Lautaro's balling right now in Serie A. Uh, this SBC is coming in at 80 95k it's 91 percent upvoted which is a lot it's only an 83 84 so it's understandable that you know people are upvoting it he's got no fin no finesse shot plus he's got no play style plus but it is a solid card overall it's a very decent striker um and uh yeah i mean it's understandable why people like this sbc a nice syria striker for for a pretty good price to be honest right so only 90k for that lautaro martinez player of the month i think based on the amount of people upvoting him that a lot of people are actually going ahead and completing this card. Um, you know, I, I would probably say you're probably still better off with gold layout, but we're starting to get to that time of the year where, you know, some of these some of these player of the months and SBCs are getting insane stats. Like you look at 88 agility, 91 balance, 90 reactions for Lautaro with 93 finishing. I do feel like previous FIFA's Lautaro has been a bit of a fraud with his stats, but recently I do feel like last FIFA and this FIFA, he's been a lot better. So I would give you that. Probably not an SBC I'm going to be going and completing, but definitely a very worthwhile um, SBC. Now, other things to talk about. We just got a bunch of road to the knockout upgrades. So we've got uh, some pretty crazy stuff to talk about here. So I think, guys, if you want to do Lautaro, you can. I don't have a problem with either price today. I think I think Salah is one of those cards that we're going to start getting some way better fodder packs next season. It's available for 30 days. I think in 30 days, he's still going to be top tier. So work towards it. Use your fodder to try to complete him. The good part is I feel like this is this is what I'll say. I I think I think Salah player of the month probably ends up becoming a lot cheaper. I think the reason he is so expensive right now is because obviously the price of the 85s and the 84s and 83s is a lot, right? Like 385 squads is going to cost you 90 right now and 386s is 112 and that's because we've been having these crazy road to the knockout upgrades we've been having uh just situations where fodder now fodder has gotten so much more expensive um in the last couple of days because of all the SBCs. so I, I believe that's a large reason at the moment why you know the price has risen so much for that um modric you know he's up to a 93 so we got the we got rotaranaka upgrades um he's almost got like if you like genuinely he's almost got perfect dribbling look at that dribbling that's like team of the year level uh dribbling for luka modric so that is an absolutely absolutely crazy card i'm trying to pull up to the left here who else got an upgrade so dodo got a plus two and he was extinct yesterday so i'd be curious to see if he's still extinct he's actually on the market but dodo with the plus two i mean that's 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 some serious dribbling for for a right back right i mean 96 balance 91 agility 93 sprint speed 90 acceleration so those plus two upgrades are really nice hallen is up to a 94 um which is just crazy crazy all the way up at a 94 um, and he is just so rare. He's actually gone all the way up to like 3 million coins. He's got 99 finishing and 99 attack positioning. 99 reactions as well and 97 strength. What an unbelievable card. Like, what a card. Crazy. That is like team of the year level shooting. It really is. Um, who else did we probably get an upgrade for? Uh, I think Openda got an upgrade. I'm looking at my, oh, Joao Pedro. And and I think I think uh I think Gotza got two upgrades. Is uh what rating is Joao Pedro? I gotta find him, bro. I'm totally gonna get to the end. And did I already did I already scroll past him? Oh, I think I might have scrolled past him. But Joao Pedro, um, he's up a lot. He's up at like 500. You know, he was sub 400 at one point. 44, but 96 agility, 91 finishing. Brighton for the win. Um. Nice upgrade there. Played against this guy in Rivals. He's a very good card. Um, you know, the real... Out of all the Road to the Knockout upgrades and stuff that just kind of happened, like, 
the real one I feel like that we all, I mean, not all of us, but like myself, like I feel like I sold with this Darmian, man. Like, oh my God, is he good? Statistically, you look at the card, he's not that crazy. He got two upgrades and his, his 85 was so annoying. Five star weak foot, 90 defending. Like I sold, this was an objective card that we a hundred percent should have done. And I just didn't do it. My word has he been, you know, he is phenomenal. 96 short passing, 5-star weak foot, 92 reactions, 87 composure, 90 defensive awareness. It's just such a good card. Um, his 85 was driving me crazy. Imagine how good this 87 is going to be. So I feel like I feel like I've sold, man. I, I do feel like I've sold, but what's new? We always sell. Now, something I wanted to also point out, um, obviously you guys know Triple Threat is going to be today. Um, there's a lot of new packs that were, uh, that were added. There's not that many interesting ones, but there is a new hero uh, and a new uh, icon pack. So we've got a base hero pack that's just going to be unlimited. There's like no rating on it. EA are just dropping a base hero, which is nice. We've had the max. And then for the icon, unfortunately, it is still going to be a max rating. Uh, it is a max of 89. So that's, you know, that's a little annoying because you miss out on some players, but at least it's not max 87 because... The max 87, like, you just didn't have a chance to really get anybody that good. Um, so, if you go ahead and you look at the max 89, yes, you miss out on, like, all the gods here players for sure. But there are still a couple of really good players in that pack. You now have Stoichkov. You've now got Drogba. You've got Jairzinho. That, that's the one, really. Jairzinho, Lam, Smith, um, Eto, Kaká, Socrates, um, Figo Hurt is very good this year. Kenny Dalglish is crazy. Butra is insane. You got Ribery, too. Um, so a lot better players, Rio, Vieira, Nedved, Van der Sar. Um, so this pack should bring a lot of hype. I actually expect we'll probably get one of these packs over the weekend at some point, um, is what I'm hoping. Usually do that on Sundays, uh, but maybe there's a chance they drop it with the new promo today, but that pack should be a lot better. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they price it because obviously fodder is so expensive right now. We've had so many SBCs, like I can't imagine people even have coins right now. So that's going to be really interesting to see kind of price-wise. It probably will definitely be more expensive um, than the recent, like, max packs we've been having. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they price that. But those are the new SBCs, and that's what I wanted to go over this morning. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Quick little video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.